Wouldn't it be great to send a new newsletter every time you publish a video on YouTube? Of course, this would be great. And exactly this is what we are going to do in this video. I'm going to show you step by step how to do this and which programs you need, how to program these programs. It's super simple. I made the hard work for you. So heavy lifting is done already. You basically need to drag and drop a few things and change a few small snippets and then you are ready to go and your list is getting a fully automated newsletter each time you publish a new YouTube video. Let's get into it. So first things first, you need four things. The first thing you need is Modic. Modic is the most amazing marketing automation tool in the world. It's basically free because it's open source. If you want to install it yourself, you find plenty of videos on this channel how to do it. And if you don't want to install it yourself, just find the link in the description to get your hosted Modic environment. Then you don't need to do any of the tech IT stuff behind the scenes because we can do this for you. The second thing is you need N8N or Notemation, which is the best automation tool to connect APIs or to connect software. And it's way better than Zapier because Zapier is just super, super expensive and it gets into the thousands each month if you overuse it. So you want to have a better tool, which is Notemation. So if you want to learn how to install it, you can watch this video and install it yourself or you take the cloud and the link to their cloud you find in our description. It's an affiliate link. I appreciate if you want to use it, then we get this more kickback. These two things are software wise. The other thing inside Modic, you need your segment. So you need one list of leads to send the email to. And the other thing is you need a template in Modic to use it as your template for your newsletters. These four ingredients are necessary and I will supply you with everything. The thing is here on this landing page, you find the link in the description as well. Take this script. At the moment, it's just super basic. I threw everything in there just to make this video. So don't get upset by the design because there is none. <laughs> and here is all the code you need and you can just copy and paste it. Next to it, you have your email template here. I provide you with the perfect email template to send with Modic, which looks nice, which you can customize your way. So just feel free to download it and use it. So download the template, upload it to your Modic. Uh, how to upload templates in Modic, you find it in this video and also download this code. So first of all, we open a new workflow in N8N. So inside N8N, click here on new and you have your new blank canvas. Inside the blank canvas, you need to insert this code. So just copy the code. This is JSON, so just copy the JSON and go here and paste it. So copy is command C and paste is command V. So put it in here and you have basically everything you need already, which is great. So that's the one thing. Save your workflow. So that's saved. Then you head over to your Modic and install your new theme. Download Modic email template. This gives you the zip. You need to upload it into your Modic and if you did everything correctly, it will show up here. So if you click on new, new email template, select, and you have automate YouTube. First of all, you need to customize your template because this template is built to use it in here. But of course, if you would just use this template, you have my images, my links, and my everything in there. So go there, give it a name, just some name, we only use the template to customize the actual email we are going to create afterwards via the script. So save it, then click on Builder, and then you have your email. So double click on the header, put in your header image. You can change this image, but it's not necessary because this image is going to be changed via the script anyway, because it uses the YouTube thumbnail every time and it video title, video description, all these things are going to be changed. 
So the only thing you need to change are the social elements in here and of course the text you want to use. Now it's in German, change it to your needs. And all these links, we're going to change them as well. So you could go in here and say, okay, change the link. Yeah, it's test.com at the moment, which is fine. You could change the link here as well. Copy that, put it in here as well. Here we have our old links in here. So now we have test.com everywhere in all the links, which is good because then it's easier to change them afterwards. So as soon as you're done customizing this email, you need to save. And after saving, come back to the builder once again and move here to code mode or view code and copy this HTML code here. So click in here, hit command A, command C to copy everything. And then you have your HTML code for the email. So save and close and head over to segments and build your segment. So let's take a test segment. Here I have the test segment with one contact inside and it's segment number 49. So this is totally fine. In this case, I would just leave it like this and use this segment. The only thing I need is the ID. So let's head over to N8N and take a look at this script basically. First, it starts with a cron job. So every day at the hour 10, so in this case, UTC hour 10, it starts this cron job and does the whole thing. So what happens here? Function number one is it gets the date of today. And then it calculates another date, which is in this case, minus seven days. And you need to adjust this number to the possible offset you want to have. This script is running every day. So if you know, okay, you have your newsletter posted every Thursday, then of course you need to adjust the cron job to every Thursday and then you post your video on, I don't know, 10 o'clock in the morning. Then you would run this script at 11 o'clock in the morning. Then you don't need to change this. So you can have minus zero here because it's the same day. I hope you get it. I'm sure you get it. But the thing is, um, you need data. So I will just put minus 11 because that's the last day I published a video on this channel. So this calculates my today date. Usually I, I would just have minus one because then I would just send the newsletter on the second day. So the first day I get all the traffic from YouTube. The second day I push traffic from my own email list to the YouTube video. So that's the idea here. You need to calculate the proper date to actually get data out of your channel. So that's the function number one. Function number two is YouTube. So here, create your YouTube credentials. How to do this? You find it in the docs. And use resource video, operation get all, limit it to one because you only want to have one video to choose from. And this should be the last one. To get the last one, we of course need to insert our channel ID and publish after. So we can put in a filter to only get certain videos from certain dates. And this is why we calculated the date in the first place, because I want to have the video which was published after a certain date. This usually would be today or yesterday or something. In this case, it's 11 days ago. And as soon as I hit execute node, it will find in this case, my last video. If I would change the date to minus 10 before in the calculation, there would be no output because there was no video uploaded. So this is the thing. Now I have the video. If I go to JSON, I see it a little more clearly. This is my subject from the last video. It's from my German channel, but it doesn't matter. I have the description, I have the URL of the thumbnails and so on and so forth. So it's really handy and we can build a newsletter from that. The next thing you need is the function number two. So here in this function, we basically calculate the publish and the unpublished date for our segment email in Mautic. So segment email means a planned newsletter basically. And um, of course you need a published date when a newsletter goes live and you need an unpublished date when a newsletter expires. And you can adjust this, you can add hours. So I just wrote it to add some hours 
to the calculation. So you can adjust, you can have this from one to 72 or whatever hours you want to have in between to make Modic able to send this email to your list. Okay, 12 hours should be sufficient for most people and for most sending services. Let's execute it here. And now we get to the actual work. So let's get in here. And here we have our curl authentication to Modic. So what's necessary in Modic is to create API credentials. And in the configuration, you need to enable API calls because it's necessary. So API settings need to be enabled. We don't need API credentials actually. We only need to enable HTTP basic authentication. That's very important for this thing because we use curl to call our API. So we don't need credentials, but we need a user. So you want to create a user for this purpose, especially. Do this and afterwards you can come back and yeah, create your user in here with the credentials from Modic, which you used. I usually make like edit and worker or something. Then I have my username and my password and it's basic authentication. And the request method is post. So we are going to post our data to Modic. So in order to do that, we of course need to change and adjust our domain here, which would be email.hardmode.io slash API slash email slash new. So that's the address we are sending our data to. And it's JSON. And then we have all these parameters in here, which are appended to the body of the post request. And here you see all these values are calculated by the script, which is kind of amazing. So I really like it. You get your subject of the video as the subject for the newsletter. It's published, value is yes. So if you wanted to change this to zero, just for testing purposes, change it to zero, then it's not published and nothing gets sent. So for this tutorial, I would change this to zero. The template, and this is important, you need to change this to the template name you are going to use. So maybe you have your own template, then you need to change this. Otherwise, you would put automate YT. So that's the, and then you have your custom HTML. And this is the HTML we copied before. So go in here and delete all this because you can use it, but then you have my email and my everything there. So delete that and paste what you copied from the Mautic Builder in here. And then hit Command F or um, Control F to find stuff. So put in title and this will lead you to the video title. Delete that and put in YouTube, output data, JSON, ID, no, not ID, we'll use it later, snippet. And inside the snippet, we have the title. So now we have the title here and down here, we see how this gets rendered. Here we go. Modic for newsletter sent you. So that's the title. Then put in the description, it leads you to video description. So delete that, put in the description. So now it puts in the description and it's a short description. So it ends here with three points. That's the reason why I wrote inside this template. Okay, I don't want to bother you with that at the moment. And here you have your link. So let's find HTTP forward slash test.com. Okay, we have this in here six times. So we need to change that six times to uq.be slash. And now we put in the video ID. So this is going to be our, ah, we need to have the protocol as well. That's our, our link. So I copy that and I put it everywhere. I can find the HTTP test.com. Make sure to have your quotes correctly. Now we have done our template. So this is going to create an HTML email inside of Modic. The next thing you need to change is we have email type is list. So this creates a list and your lists. And in here, inside the lists, you need to change this value to the ID of the list you found before. So in this case, I'm going to 
choose the test segment just to test it and I have the list ID of my test segment in here, which is 49. Afterwards, you need to change it to your production segment, of course. And then you have here the publish up date and publish down date. So all this gets created for you, which is great. And as soon as you've done that, you can hit execute. Take some time, depends on the server. Here we go, everything, everything was done correctly. So let's move to channels emails and take a look if there is something. Yes, we have our YouTube newsletter here. It's unpublished, as you can see, we set is published value to zero. So it's unpublished. If I change this here to one and I execute it again, it's going to create another email, which is called the same. And let's refresh here. Yes, I have the expired uh, email. Um, that's the thing you can, you can do. So everything is it's pending to one person on the email list. So if you want to adjust this, and in my case, I would need to adjust this for, I don't know how many hours. Let's just put 300 hours, <laughs> which is funny, but it's going to work. And delete everything. Okay, execute the whole workflow. Now it's going to create another uh, email. So let's refresh here. And now I have my email. It's online. It's going to be sent in a minute to my test contact. And it's online. And of course, you can take a look how the email looks like. It's here. Everything was built. We have our newsletter sent. We have um, everything in here. It gets redirected to the correct video. So yes, this is the correct video and so on and so forth. So this is basically an amazing function and it's great. It's working great. I hope you can use everything and um, push your YouTube channel. And if you want to push my YouTube channel a little bit, share it with your friends, click on like on this video and on as many other videos as you want. And of course, comment to the video. This is really, really useful for me. And I see you in the next video. See you then. Thanks. Bye.